Dudes and dudettes of YouTube, man, it's Frank with What's the Point EDC, and today we're talking about the CJRB Pyrite. We're going to talk about what my thoughts are, what I would change, what I like, and what I dislike about the knife. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let the sharp knives and good vibes begin. All right, so we got the CJRB Pyrite with the worn cliff blade here. The blade steel itself is going to be AR RPM 9, which is Artisan Cutlery's proprietary steel. Artisan Cutlery is the parent company to CJRB. Kind of how Sencut is to Civivi, Civivi is to Wii. They're all together, but they're slightly different. You know, they're just different price points, pretty much. So, everything is stonewashed. The blade's stonewashed, the stainless steel scales are stonewashed, and the deep carry pocket clip is stonewashed. So, while we're at the pocket clip and scale part... Let's go ahead and talk about it. So the clip itself isn't inset, but the screws are. Not a deal breaker, not even in the least. If I would change it, I would inset the clip as well. And uh, I put a filler tab. But that's no big deal, not even in the slightest bit. So when you have these untextured titanium, I mean, stainless steel scales, what you get is in and out of the pocket very well. I mean, it comes in and out of the pocket because there's nothing to slow it down there's nothing to get caught up on the material there's nothing to fray your jeans or any of that it just comes in and out very good now with that being said another thing you're going to get is it's going to be a little slick if your hands are sweaty or if you have wet hands or if you're working in a wet environment there it's not going to be as grippy as say like your g10 your micartas but it's not the end of the world it's, it's really not that bad it's not like the knife's going to come flying out of your hand just keep in mind that it's not going to be quite as grippy as other materials will be. So, the blade shape. It's a Warncliff blade, and the tip on this is great. It really is great. The choil, it's a tad bit small for me and my liking. But, keep in mind, if they made it any bigger, they would lose a lot of edge. And you need as much edge as you can, and I prefer it just like it is. I can still choke up. I just got to hold my hand a different way. The edge geometry so far has proven itself to be pretty slicey. Now, this wasn't the sharpest knife from the factory, but it had a decent edge on it. This right here, overall package for 50 bucks, you're getting a budget banger. This is a budget banger. The only other thing that I would like to change about this knife would be its size. Well, good thing they make an XL Pyrite, so that's no big deal. I finally got to hold one last night for the first time. Edgeworks, my local knife company, they have the Pyrite XLs in stock right now. And let me tell you guys what, they are fire. They really are fire. Now, this knife has a little bit of heft to it. Not heavy, but a, you, you notice that it's in your hand or in your pocket if you're wearing um, gym shorts. Now, it, it doesn't flop around like crazy if you put this in your pocket with gym shorts, but you know it is in there. And believe it or not, the XL Pyrite that has micarta scales is lighter than this by a considerable amount. Which tells me if this right here was in micarta, it would be pretty light. Now look at this right here. It's definitely been skeletonized. So there is weight relief and weight saving going on here. Let's talk about the button lock. This button lock, man, the button lock, the detent... It is done right. I mean, let's talk about fidget factor. This thing has it. As you see, I'm doing this left-handed. So this is a very ambidextrous knife. The lock never fails. I haven't had a problem. I've tested it plenty of times. It's holding strong. The action is perfect. Look at the dangle there. That's the dangle factor. Shout out to Joe with EDC Pockets. That's his saying right there. I think it's an all-around very good EDC knife. The clip works good. The button lock works good. The action is fantastic. The blade shape is right. You got the choil, so you're going to be able to sharpen it forever. You've got multiple deployments. It comes in and out of the pocket like a champ, and it is not going to mess your clothes up at all. And if you're a dude or dudette who likes your lanyards, you are good to go. So, what is there to not like about this knife? I can't think of anything, guys. I really can't because it's actually a fire knife. For $50, you're getting a lot. 
This knife right here made it so I will, from now on, I won't have a problem buying a CJRB knife. I was a little bit on the fence about buying one of their knives, not because I didn't think it was good or anything, but just because it was a new brand to me and I had never bought anything of theirs, so I didn't know what to expect. Like I said earlier on, CJRB's parent company is Artisan Cutlery. And if you know about Artisan Cutlery, they got some fire knives. They actually have one called the Accelerator that I'm really trying to get right now. And uh, they have a small little fixed blade that's fire too that I would like to get. So I will be getting some more CJRBs and some Artisan Cutleries in the future because this knife right here is good enough that it's, it's proven that it's worthy of getting. So never doubt... This is one thing I always I always deal with. I always doubt knives until I get them in my hand. That's why I just I typically don't like to order knives off the internet for two reasons. Number one is because I want to support my local uh, knife companies as much as possible. Definitely do because Edgeworks is a solid company and I like to support small businesses anytime I can. And two because buying on the internet you can't walk in and just hold the knife. You know what I mean? It's not like a knife shop, like a brick and mortar store where you can walk in, hold the knife, deploy the knife, put it in your pocket, walk around, see what you're thinking in 10 minutes, and then make your decision. You can't do that. You just have to buy it and pray. And that's something that I just, I wasn't the biggest fan of, but I feel like now, if needed be, I could order and wouldn't have a problem ordering. But I will still, if, if I can, I'll get it at Edgeworks all day long because that's the place to go. So I'm going to go ahead and end this, guys. I appreciate all the support you guys have given me. I truly do. If, if you enjoy this type of stuff, just hit the like button, subscribe, all that good old YouTube stuff. I'm going to keep these videos coming. If you're an addict, never quit quitting. Stay strong and live long. Get the help you truly deserve so you can live your best life. And if you're struggling with bad thoughts, reach out and talk to somebody. Never quit quitting and never give up. Stay strong and live long. Take it easy and stay greasy.